What is going on in America today? What's going on in America is a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of uncertainty. Uncertainty simply because people can feel that things are changing and changing real fast. And they're scared. I had this young white guy today. He's probably about 28, 29. And he was like, man, I don't know what's going on. You know, I'm just frustrated. This, And I can see it on his face. And he's a good kid. I can tell. I say, son, listen, you got to make sure that you don't let people around you bring those bad spirits towards you. You got to make sure that you take care of your child and make sure that whoever's got darkness, that you do not let that darkness settle on you. You got to be a light to other people in this world and you can't let people drag you down. He said, man, this is crazy. You're saying this because I got my ex and she's right now to my head in the train and want to take my baby. And I said, listen, listen, the Lord is telling me she's got spirits on her. And he goes, man, that's exactly what's going on. I mean, you can tell. And he said, I said, listen, you need to focus on you. But if you don't know the word, you can't teach your son nothing. You don't know the curses because our people had curses, but there's curses now on other people out here. And if you don't know those curses, you won't know how to avoid them. And one of the main things is getting yourself right with Christ and knowing that he's coming back any moment. Look around. Let's look around this world. you got the American dollars about to crash any minute right now. People don't understand that 70 banks or so have failed. They don't even understand this or know it. They don't understand that right now, 80 nations or 80 nations around us refusing to take the dollar. So once the dollar crashes, money's going to be thrown in the street. So there's anxiety amongst people. And they don't even know really why. They don't understand that it's going to be real soon. We're getting ready to go to a, a new uh, currency. It's digital with the federal government. in July. They're going to roll it out. Now, at first, they're going to start just with this currency. They're going to do it where you can go ahead. If you want to pay bills, this and that. But eventually, they're going to make it where you got to go through them so they can track everything you do and control when you get gas. If they, Say, for instance, you want to get gas, but you know you don't have enough social credits. All of a sudden, they can cut it down where you don't get much. That's to keep you from traveling. Say, for instance, that, that, that you want to go to the grocery store. Well, they may say you're purchasing too much, and they only allow you so many credits. <clears throat> Folks, all of this is coming right now. And this is coming on the earth and it's coming on America simply because America has judgment. The scriptures clearly tell you that America is a nation that all merchants trade with. They buy food and goods from her, but they're going to turn on her. So right now, while we're sitting here in America, not understanding that everything we do right now, the whole world is watching. And they're watching because they know a lot of these people know Bible prophecy. The scriptures tell you when the river Frades dry up that the men from the east are coming over. Putin, all of them are from the east. Then you're going to learn that America, the real America, is actually one of the old is the oldest continent on earth. That the step pyramids are here. There's 2,300 pyramids here, and Egypt, or excuse me, in Africa, or what the what you call the um the other Egypt, because America was called is called Egypt too, house of bondage. Read in Deuteronomy chapter 19. In Egypt, what we call Egypt, which is this country, the other Egypt over there, there's only 100 to 120 so pyramids. I'm sure there's more underneath the ground. But here there's over 2,000. Just right through Tennessee, Utah, uh, Arizona. You'll see them everywhere. Now it's been exposed that we are the indigenous people. Dr. King said we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Excuse me, Malcolm X said we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. Dr. King said we'll exile in our own land. And they killed him a few days later. Folks, right now there's a grand awakening on who the Lord's children are. The Lord says in Psalms 91 that with his children, 10,000 will die by one side, 100,000 by uh, 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 another side. But nothing will come near their dwelling. Now, you got to understand something. All you other nations who are not Israel. If you truly want to make it in these times, if you don't want your children to die, because the Lord says they're going to, a lot of these nations are going to watch their children be dashed against the wall. So a lot of your children are going to die, just like in the, in the beginning, when the giants who were evil, and they came through and they were killing people and doing things that were horrible, it reached to heaven. Well, folks, it's reached to heaven again. And in those days, the Lord took them and he said, he told the, the fallen ones, he says, I'm not going to hurt, kill you. I'm going to put you away and lock you up, but I'm going to kill your children and you're going to see it. And so right now, just like that young man I saw today, their children are going through anguish inside. They're going through pains because of what happened in the Americas. Not only Americas, but look at the four corners of the earth where Esau, Edom has become a plague, where no nation wants to deal with them. Now, 
saying that, and I want you to get this. There's good people of every race everywhere, but there's judgment, just like we were judged in Deuteronomy. You go to Deuteronomy and you start at one through, through six, chapter 16, I believe it goes into all the blessings we would have had. But once you get to Deuteronomy 28, it goes into the curses and you can read them. They only fell on us. And when you read them, you know it's only the so-called Negroes, which they ignorantly call us African-American. We have nothing to do with Africa. Ham, progen of the dark races, born 96 years before the floods. Father the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, and the Africans knocked the Negroes. That's what is on this Bible dictionary tell you. We come from Shem. We were brought here. Columbus knew how to get here. He read 2nd Ezra. He knew that the ten and a half tribes were brought to Azareth, which is called America or Meru. That's what it was called. We're what you would call ancient Phoenicians, Hebrew or Evreen. And when we were brought to this land, and Glenn Beck did a special on it, and I talked about this before. They end up firing him, showing our, 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 our graves dug up with the Ten Commandments and the writings. Saying all of that, you say, okay, what does this mean? What it means simply is this. It's already prophesied that in Ezekiel 35, 36, 37, 38, that the land that, that, that people came in and took over, such as Israel, when we, that's the land we ran out in 70 AD when General Vaspin and Titus put a slaughter our people. A lot of us ran into what you call um, Africa, but a lot of us was taken from Americas and shipped to Africa. So then you can get this fake African transatlantic slave trade th theory, which is Alex Haley was sued because all that was a lie. The ish who took our identity in 720 came up with all of this. The biggest lie, the biggest lie ever told was that there was a transatlantic slave trade. That was the biggest lie ever told. Harriet Tubman, ran an underground railroad, another big lie. She actually benefited and was working with the government. Folks, all this is coming out now. Everything that you've been told about the Americas, everything you've been told about yourself, everything you've been told, I found that Abraham Lincoln, when I read the, the congressional records, his congressional records said I'm six foot four, I'm dark, I got gray woolly hair, and I got gray eyes. And he was from a tribe, tribe called the Wickacha. He was an Indian. You find out that Columbus was a Sephardic Jew. Benjamin Franklin was supposed to have been a, a, a slave, that he was actually black. All of this is coming out, folks. Do your homework. Listen, consider me to be a liar. But know this, there's judgment on America and nobody can stop it. You can't change the wave that's coming, the tide is coming in. The only thing you can do right now is to stop hating because of race, Stop trying to think that, you know, well, we're going to be fighting each other. No, 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 folks. You're going to be fighting the 1% who's trying to take our food. You're going to be fighting the 1% who's poisoning our air. You're going to be fighting the 1% who want to take your weapons and always want to get false flags and tell you that these people are coming to the schools and doing it when they're behind everything that's going on. Look, the other nations have figured it out. They realize that they're coming into the nation doing proxy wars. So they're doing external propaganda. Do you not think they're doing internal propaganda? Folks, right now is the time for all Americans to stick together. Especially the so-called Israelites or Negroes. We got to come together as one because until we fix ourselves, we can't fix anyone else. And we know that there's a systematic system designed to separate us. Not only us, but from our brethren who was born in the womb in Genesis 25, what you call Edom or Esau, who inherited what we call the money, and we inherit the land, which is the Americas. But he got greedy. He got greedy. He came back, you say, not only did I get the money, but I want the land also. Is not America the land that everybody wants to come to? This is the land of milk and honey. But in order for this to work, People got to start working together and realize there's puppeteering going on. And we do not want to become the puppet as being Americans. You can't fight each other because of race. You can't fight each other because you just don't agree with their religion or their walk. Notice that we have other forces coming against us right now. And it's called all the other nations of the world. Right now, it's time to get right internally and stop the bickering over race, color, money, and positions. My message for today.